In addition to reading data files, another very common task when writing PHP applications is to read application configuration files. These are external files that store the application configuration values in a specific format. There are two generally used formats for external configuration files. One is to list the configuration settings in key value pairs, and another is to write the configuration file in XML format. In either case, PHP provides built-in functions for reading those configuration files. For key value pairs, PHP provides the parse any file, parse underscore INI underscore file function. When we use this function and provide it with a configuration file name, the function returns an associative array of key value pairs from the configuration file. Now it does expect a specific format for those configuration values, an example of which I've included. XML is a preferred format because of its popularity as a self-describing data file. PHP provides a simple XML load file function that returns a collection of objects that contain the XML data. In our case, the XML configuration data. Let's go look at some code. So our next code snippet is something that's actually very useful in the initialization of an application. This is such a common task that PHP provides us a function that implements a lot of the plumbing for us in doing this work. So we're going to parse, read in and parse this file. This is our configuration file for our application. It identifies our database login information. It identifies what level of debugging that I want for this execution of the application and it identifies the directory, which is the root of the application. So this is an application configuration file, and we need to read this data in to our application. Now again, application configuration files are preferred over hard coding these values into our application. So on line 15, I call the function parse underscore any underscore file. Again, this is a built-in PHP function that will read and parse a configuration file. Well, notice though that the format of the configuration file is fixed, and this function expects a specific format for the configuration file. So we call the parse any file function passing our configuration file on line 15, and that returns to us an associative array that we can then read. And on line 16, I read that associative array and I'm looking for the debug section of the configuration file and the value of debug on within that debug section. So again, from our configuration file, I have a section debug and within that I have a value for a configuration for debug on. And that's what I'm looking for here in my call to the associative array that was returned by the parse any file. And then I print that. And then I'll print on line 29, I print the entire associative array. And a new function for us on line 22, a new function unset. This releases the variables that were previously defined. I do this because I want to reuse those variables. And I'm going to reuse them here to call another function that is useful for reading uh, application configuration file. Except this application configuration file is written in XML. Same data in XML format. So I'm going to read this XML with one function call to the PHP built-in function, simple XML underscore load underscore file. And the argument for this function is the name of the XML file. The return values from this function 
are accessed as shown on line 30. We use the arrow from the variable to the node to the value that we're interested in. Then on line 31, I print this value, and on line 32, I ask for a different value, in this case, the value of root in the XML file. And then I'm going to print the entire contents of the XML file as returned to this code snippet by the call to simple XML load file. Let's run this, and here's the output. In my first call, using the parse any file function, I've read the, the values, and I get a value of 1 for the debug on configuration setting as read from the any file. Then I dump the entire contents of the array representing the data that was read from that file. Next, I read from the XML file. In the XML file, you'll recall, I have reset the value of debug on in order to contrast the read from the any file where the value was set to 1. In the XML file, I set the value to 0 for the debug on configuration setting. When I read this value using simple XML load file, I get the value of 0 because it's being read from the XML file. And then again, I read the root value from the directory node in the XML file. Then I dump the, uh, the entire contents of the config variable. I don't want to get into a discussion of an object yet. We will be discussing objects and classes and object-oriented programming in a coming video. But note that the return from the simple XML load file function is an object, an object that is holding the XML data that was read from that file. So again, it's your turn. In this exercise, We'd like you to enhance the validate user function from the previous exercise to read the contents of the file usercreds.txt. Read this data into a static associative array that will store usernames and passwords for the application. The validate user function should be in an external PHP file to be included into the application file. Then create a web page to validate a username and password by calling the function. Again, use the username sconnor and the password fate that we make as arguments to the function. Find the password associated with the username, test the password, and if it's correct, return true from your function false otherwise. On the application page, if the function returns true, print welcome. Otherwise, print please try again.